In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to replace the speedometer on a uh, 2009 Harley-Davidson uh, Softail Custom. So this is the um, speedometer uh, tack I'm going to replace the stock speedometer with. Uh, there's another picture of it on the back. It is uh, part number 7090070A. Uh, it fits 04 to 2011 Dyna, 04 to 2010 Softail, except FL, ST, SE, and FX, STD, and it fits 04 and later uh, Road King models, except FL, HR, SE, 3, and 4, and it is made in Switzerland. So what they give you with the kit is a, a new speedometer tack. Uh, they give you this adapter for copying your old um, odometer data to the new speedometer and uh, a set of instructions. The uh, first thing you're going to want to do is remove your seat because we need access to this uh, data link port which is right here and then later on we're going to need access to the maxi fuse which is right in here. Uh, after you get the seat off come over to your ignition switch and turn it to the accessory position and record how many miles are on the bike because you're going to want to uh, verify that this was copied over correctly to the uh, new speedometer. After you record that, turn the ignition switch back to the uh, off position. Now I'm ready to uh, copy the odometer data over to the new speedometer. I'm going to place a cover over my battery and part of the tank just so I feel more comfortable setting the resting the speedometer on the cover. Um, I'm going to take my uh, data link connector remove it, take this rubber plug out, then take the um, adapter that came with the kit, plug this end into your data link connector, and then plug this end into the speedometer, the new speedometer. And I'm going to set that there. So what I'm going to do is turn my uh, ignition switch to the ignition position and it should s display that it's copying the uh, data to the new uh, speedometer and um, when it's all done it will display OK on the, uh, in the uh, digital display here on the new um, speedometer tag. So here goes, I'm turning the ignition switch to the uh, ignition position. And that's it. Um, it's all done and it displays OK. So all the data has been transferred to the, the new speedometer. So now you turn the ignition back to the off position and you can disconnect your um, speedometer, remove the uh, adapter and uh, put your uh, data connector back in place. So now we're uh, ready to uh, remove the uh, old speedometer and install the new speedometer. But uh, before you do that, just for safety reasons, uh, find the maxi fuse for the bike and disconnect it. Uh, what that will do is it just disconnects the battery from the, um, the electrical circuits on the bike. The maxi fuse on this bike is right here. So I'm going to take this out and uh, remove the fuse. So now I'm ready to remove this uh, center console to um, get access to the back of this uh, speedometer so I can remove it and uh, install the new speedometer. Um, but before you do that, try and cover up your gas tank um, the best you can with some type of cover just in case you drop something you don't scratch the, scratch the tank. So um, this center console is held on by this single uh, half inch acorn nut. Um, it, it not only secures this console to the bike, but it's also kind of a, a decorative piece for the bike. So what I'm going to be using to uh, remove it is this six point socket. And six point, all that means is it's got six sides. So it's the best socket to use to grip that um, grip, grip as much surface area of that uh, acorn nut as possible. So. Um, I'm least likely to uh, mar the finish. So, next step is to remove this uh, acorn nut. And once that's off, I can lift off the uh, center console. 
and there's a there's a washer underneath. With the uh, acorn nut removed, I'm now ready to lift off the uh, center console. Um, so a lot of wires that come under here and they're connected and it doesn't give you much uh, much length and wire to, to move this thing around but with the console up and off I'm gonna put another rag here just to cover things up and try and find a position to film so I can show you how I take off that uh, speedometer. So the, uh, the speedometer just snaps into place. There's three snaps, uh, one, two, and three. The, the white snaps here are part of the speedometer body and this black piece that it snaps onto is a separate piece. Um, before we unsnap it, I need to remove this electrical connector here. So uh, first step, remove this connector and pull that out of the way then I can remove these snaps and the way that I do that is I just pull this black piece back and push the the speedometer that way and that will re release the uh, snaps and I want to do that for all three all three snaps then I can turn this I don't know if I gotta stop the camera and restart it just a sec now turn the uh, console over and then you can lift the old speedometer out of the center console and there's the old speedometer all right so now I'm ready to install the new speedometer uh, there's a gasket here that fits on the console or this rubber seal gasket make sure it's in place um, just to help slip the new speedometer in I'm gonna take a rag I've got some WD-40 on this rag and I'm gonna wipe the the inside of this uh, rubber gasket just to make it easier to slip the new speedometer in. Um, take your new speedometer. I'm going to remove the protective lens cover just because it gets in the way. Um, position it so that it's in the correct position and uh, keeping your hand behind the back of this uh, console just to hold this rubber uh, gasket in place while you gently insert the new the new speedo tack and again the hard part is just keeping this rubber rubber gasket in place and then insert the the speedo all the way all the way down now turn the uh, console over uh, keeping your hand on the uh, speedometer just in case it wants to slip out. Um, you need to reposition this piece. There are, um, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's some metal, try and zoom in here. There's some metal prongs on the console here, like right there. Um, there's a two of them and they fit in between this part of this black black piece. So put that into place. And hopefully you can see that. I can't see the... You might have to turn the speedometer so everything lines up. And then snap that black plastic piece in place like that. Now uh, reconnect the electrical connector to the new speedometer. And make sure everything is um, reattached like this, this, this holds this, this wire in place. It kind of came out of the hole here on that black piece that holds the uh, speedometer in place and then um, just make sure all your wires are in the right place and then you're ready to reinstall the uh, the console. I've got the uh, console back in place. I'm ready to reinstall this uh, acorn nut. Um, I don't have specs for this. Um, 
doesn't have to be too tight, just a, a light snug. Like that. Now reinstall your maxi fuse and place it back in its holder. So now I'm going to turn the ignition switch to the ignition position and uh, verify that uh, um, my correct odometer reading was copied over correctly to the new speedometer. And then I'm also going to check to make sure that uh, just everything's working on the bike like the headlight, uh, tail light, and turn signals. So turn the ignition switch to the ignition position and you can see that the correct data was copied over to the new speedometer. So with the uh, speedometer installed and everything, um, odometer information copied over correctly, I now need to ride this bike for uh, 31.1 miles before the uh, speedometer tack will become locked to the ECM or computer uh, on this motorcycle. And all that means is after 31.1 miles, this speedometer will only work on this bike. Um, it will actually show you in one of the trip, uh, I think it's B, says 31.1 miles and that will actually count down as you're driving um, when that reaches zero that means that this speedometer is locked to uh, the ECM on this motorcycle so um, you can configure a lot on this uh, a speedometer um, you can turn this fuel gauge on and off you can turn the uh, this speedometer will, will display what gear you're in um, gears one through six uh, you can turn that feature on and off on uh, 2007 and later models uh, you can also configure the color of the lights, um, but that would just take too much time for me to show you that in this video. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section, or you can go to my website at um, thesmallengineshop.net, and uh, there's a forum there where you can leave, uh, leave questions. Um, hope this video's uh, been helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.